Hello, everyone. How's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some RuneScape, shall we? Alex, Sir Theodore, a Pisca cat. Good evening, everyone. Good to see you. All right. No echo now. Got that taken care of, and here we are. Well, it's double experience time, and I have been working on my skills a bit. Hey, Space Fox, good evening. Good to see you. So... We are ready to do this quest called Within the Light. Um, this one, the Desert Slayer Dungeon mini quest, I get, we could also do this one too, but I think we'll go with Within the Light. It's an elven quest. Um, stats are looking better, Sir Theodore. I was going to ask everyone a question about that. So here's my skills. I just got my magic um, skill up to 80. And I was wondering if um, there was an upgrade for my Staff of Light at this point. There might not be, as this is tier 75. Uh, I might need to get it higher. Hilarious, Alex. Um, oh, cool, Sir Theodore. Yeah, that would be nice. I didn't know that they did that, but... Uh, let me look at some of these. See if they, uh, what was the one that, now nah, this one still has 68 mining, but um, that's not that bad. I can easily do that. All right. I, uh, the skills that I pushed, um, I got herb lore up to 85. I got my, uh, I was working on Slayer. I got it to 73. And I pushed up... Oh, I was doing a little bit of... Uh, I got Cooking and Thieving to 71. Smithing to 77. Just some small things that I was using so that I can yeah, keep up with these quests as we were talking about. Fletching, sitting here at a measly 72, but working good enough. Okay. Okay. So for, let's just check within the light and see what I need. Two sets of, oh my god, this mourner gear. You know, you, you, you think you're done with the mourner gear and you just aren't. Um, an, a new key and a tarnished key. A death um, or omni talisman to enter the death altar. Oh no, not that color wheel. I do still have them. Oh my god, I'm going back to that. Uh-oh. Oh, no, everybody. All right. So, I do have uh, mourner gear. I don't have two sets. I got one. So, I don't know if I can make another one or purchase one, but I've got a few. And then... Uh, oh, the color wheel. Maybe... Oh, no, here it is. Oh, that's right. I didn't spell color with a U. I have not, Alex. How is it? Okay, I got the color wheel, and uh, I don't know if I have the notes for this. Notes. What do we have? We have... Uh, no, not yet. Anyway. And let's see. Key. Do we have... I have the Tardish key, so I still have that thing. And I think they said I needed, like, a new key or something. I don't know. Let's see here. Oh, wow, Alec. That's pretty cool. All right. So. New key and tarnished key. Hmm. I guess I could talk to the head mourner. All right, but I also need... Uh, maybe my hood will work for it. I think I fed my um, wicked hood a uh, death talisman. I'm not sure. Yeah. So I think I can go to this... 
teleport to the death altar using it. I think that'll work. Okay. So, in that case, we need to begin the quest. How do we begin the quest? Well, let's pay attention. We need to talk to um, Ariawan in Letia. So, I believe, is this a place that I can teleport to? And, or do I need to use those crystal shards or whatever to teleport there? I can't recall exactly how that works. <laughs> nice, Episca Cat. I'll take a Pepsi straight up on the rocks. Oh, that is cool. I love when they do cut stuff like that. Um, I have the crystal teleport seed. I only have two of them left. So that's a little bit jarring, but I've got it nonetheless. All right. All right. Wheel. Let's go. All right. Now, I might have actually gone... To, this might not be the right place. I, do, 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 do. Plague's End. No, I don't think we're ready for that one. No, this is the right place. Um, well, maybe I just have to find the guy and talk to him. There he is. Oh, that's right, Alex. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Doctor Incompetent. Just the person we need. It's me, buddy. What's wrong, Ariane one? Do you remember Thorgal? Of course, he's the dwarf who tunneled into the back of the Temple of Light. Oh, I do remember that. Yes, him. Following your quest to enable the temple's defenses, he stayed there to guard the Death Altar. Thorgal is working with us now? Yes, he's decided to join our cause and looks to help remove threats from our lands so that he and his men can return safely to Keldegrim. Who knows what the mourners would do to them, or the Underground Pass, for that matter. Ah, the Underground Pass. That's great news for everyone, but why did you ask if I remembered him? Because he has just sent word by a messenger that something is going on down in the temple. The Death Guard have made it through the defenses? No, no, no. This is something different entirely. It appears there may be more to this temple than meets the eye. Are you ready to help us again? Silum, good evening. I am ready to do it. Okay, I'll help. What exactly am I helping with? As I was saying, Thorgal has reported that something happened at the point where the light merges in the temple. It is of vital importance that we investigate. We investigate? Yes, this discovery could be linked to the Elder Elves' whereabouts. They disappeared after building the temple. It is too important for me to ignore, so I'm coming with you. Great, except you seem to be forgetting something. You said none of your elves had managed to get past the Death Guard? You forgot the great resource we have gained recently. You! You can walk freely through their outpost and into the tunnels to the temple. With the temple's defenses in place, it should be safe to use elven magic in there. Elven magic? Sounds like you're forming a plan here without me. Fill me in. Yeah, he's like, and by we, of course, I mean you stand in front and take care of the death guard. We'll follow in your wake. 
The plan isn't quite complete yet. We'll need a few things to make this work. First, you've got to get me a disguise, whatever you wear to get to their outpost. Okay, it should be easy enough to get another set of mourner gear at Arandar or in the Death Guard outpost. Okay. Don't forget, you'll still need an outfit yourself, so a full set of mourner gear for both of us. What's next? That should give us options if, Saren forbid, we get spotted by the Death Guard. Second, we'll need a distraction. We could teleport in without one, but I foresee capture if we try. Elven magic will not be subtle, and the Death Guard are always on alert. So what do you suggest? You know the area better than I, so this one is down to you. If we have an ally in the outpost, then l use them. Hmm, okay, I'll have a think on that. What's the last thing we need? Nickman, good evening. The last thing is a method of getting to the Temple of Light. You'll have to bind a teleport crystal to the location we'll be teleporting to. Arianwen hands you a blank teleport crystal. I know you've not tried crystal chanting before, but I've already prepared this one, so most of the work is done. The most skilled of us can chant pitches beyond what human ears can hear, and thus shape seeds into forms of our choosing. As shape and form doesn't matter here, you'll only need a basic chant. Sing into the seed when you're in the area we need to teleport into. The harmonic feedback in the area will be enough for it to bind to that location. If you accomplish this, I can strengthen it to carry us both close to the doors of the Temple of Light. I'll get to sorting out our departure. May Saren's song guide you. I'll finalize things here to make sure Letya is secure in my absence. All right. So he's going to make sure everything is all hunky-dory here. I need to get another set of gear. Let's take a look at the quest. All right, here we go. And Arianwen has informed me that he will be accompanying me to the Temple of Light, but to get him there safely, I must first complete three tasks. Disguise. I must disguise Arianwen as a mourner. It should be fairly straightforward to get my hands on some more mourner gear from the mourners that travel over Arandar. Uh, teleport location. I must chant at the Crystal Seed in a safe location that is close to the Temple of Light entrance so that Ariamlin and I could teleport there together. And a distraction. So this is the tricky one. Arriving at the area is potentially dangerous. Any nearby mourners must be distracted when we arrive. I need to find someone to agree to do this. I wonder if that imprisoned gnome inventor will help me again. Oh, okay, there we go. Well, that's who we used before. Exactly, Sir Theodore. Uh-oh. Look at this. Gwurz at it again. Scribbling away furiously in the manuscripts. Alright. So, if I look at the map, and I say I could go this way to Arondar by moving here... But it's probably easiest for me to just teleport back to Ardoin, come through, dress as a mourner, go in here, get the spare set of clothing, and then come back over here. Hey, Chef Smitty, good evening. Yes, isn't that awesome? I hope 1.0 is brilliant. That's right, Nick Man. I think I saw your post on Discord just as I was logging in. I didn't have time to read it, but it sounds awesome. I love playing a mage. I was really enjoying that AoE spell too. The Nova, the one that just goes out in a circle around you. Oh, wow, Chef Smitty. Okay, that shows you how popular it is. All right, um, I think I only have, unfortunately, one more of these crystal teleport seeds. You can't 
Uh, I think we've already talked about this, but you can't just buy more of these, right? I, I wonder if my character will be able to play because they, if I have to make a new one or if I could keep it. Not yet, anyway. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's go back. Nothing we can't sort out. Gotta kill a few elves for him. Isn't that the way of it? Elven murder. All right. Oh, wow, there's a season now for a fresh start. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I can pay him to recharge the one that I have. Thank you. That's a good question. I mean, I come to Ardoin a lot. Is it both sides of the city that have been touched up? Uh-oh. Did I forget my mask? I think I did. Oh, God. I'm not going to be able to go anywhere without without the mask. I won't fool them. Wearing this, uh, s subjugation helmet. Oh, you can grab one from Elena's house? Oh, that's right. Let me see if I have a backup. No, no, no. Hmm? Yeah, I might not have one. I don't know what happened to it. I get rid of it? Well, anyway. It's called Gas Mask? Oh, okay. Oh, I do have two. Well, that's good. Now we're good. Does she have a full set or just the mask? All right. Here we go. We're in. All right, so... I'm in West Ardoin. Yeah, are these houses right here new with this kind of, like, lead window pane, uh, the darker stucco and the framing? This looks different, but maybe I'm... Um, not seeing it right. The rain and the fog. Oh, yeah, look at the clouds. Oh, I do see fog. Nice. Oh, okay. What am I... There we go. Okay, cool. That's great. Do you just pickpocket these people? I can't. 
I honestly, or can I just ask the head mourner, like, to get clothing, I guess? All right. Uh, report in. Any news on our missing dig team? No, I've looked everywhere, but I see no signs of them. That's not good. Did you find anything else down there? Nothing other than the beast you spoke of. I must ask you to return to the search. Right, right, right. Um, oh, okay. No, I guess I have to go kill the mortar specifically at Arandar? This is the guy I can maybe use for a distraction. talk about within the light. What are you after now? Calm down. I just need to talk to you about something. You brought toad crunchies? Oh, God. Well, no. Sorry. I, d I didn't. Oh, come on. This nail and prune stew gets old after a while, you know. Listen, will you let me finish? Fine, fine. Get on with it. Getting straight to the point. I need a favor, and you've been helpful in the past. What favor? Let's just say I need to get my, quote, friend down here and he hasn't got the clearance. I'm going to try teleporting directly into the caves, bypassing all the security. Why do I get the feeling you're not really one of these guys? Um, uh, tell the truth. Alright, I'm not with these guys. What I'm trying to do could stop some seriously bad things happening. Are you going to help the side of good? Fine, but on one condition. Let's have it. No, wait. Let me guess. Toad Crunchies? No, freedom. My freedom. Okay, how about this? You just cause as much trouble as you can here, doing whatever you want to distract these guys while I sneak in. In return, I'll have a word with the head mourner about releasing you. I suppose we have a deal. I can't see if you speak to him, really. You could just walk out, so I have no choice but to trust that you'll keep your word. I'll keep it, buddy. Trust me. I'm the that kind of guy. You know, I, I'm a... Word Keeper. Alright, so this is the guy we need for the distraction. This is good. But I gotta get the other set of clothes first. Now, when I look at the map, and I go uh, to the surface, and I say, okay, uh, oh boy, it's not where I'm at. Uh, can you center it on me? Anyway, I'm here. Now, I'm gonna need to go over in this region of Arondar. Now, I don't know if that means I have to go through the underground pass or if there is another way that I can get over there. Can I come at it from... Uh... South of Eagle's Peak, Lodestone. Oh, okay, thank you. West of the Museum Outpost. Yeah, I was thinking to myself, like, I haven't been back here in a while. Alright. Let's move. Alright. Alright. We are moving south. Okay. 
Yeah, they really did. I love these rocky textures that they put on. Oh, these guys. Oh, God. All right, here's the museum, and I need to go west of here. Okay. Randar Boutway. Oh, I got the Chivo for doing that. That's hilarious. I've seen them before. Oh, we got all the stuff. I've walked past those guys before. I've asked about them before. No, I've never interacted with them, but they're still standing there for eternity. So I say, these guys. I feel bad for NPCs that are eternally locked in their digital prisons. They're waiting for me to get to them. I admire their patience. Here we go. We need gloves, so... There we go. Alright, so... Um... Alright, one... Two, three, four. I think we're good. I like how this guy's walking by like, was that Fred that you just killed and took his clothing? Fair enough. I never liked Fred anyway. All right. So now let's just kind of go back to Ardoin. <laughs> Oni, good evening, my friend. Yeah, this staff of light is no joke. It'll poke your eye out. But sadly, it must come. Oh, I don't have space. Oh, boy. We're in this world. All right. So this is one of the examples, like, when you run into the inventory space hard, whenever they have these quests where you have to have, like... I know there was another quest. Maybe it was with the ham outfits. When you have to have two complete versions of an outfit it is no joke carrying that around i wish you could get like a a clothing bag you know like a stuff all this stuff in all right so at this point i need to go here and take off this and this and that and then now i am ready for the big time Yeah, Beast of Burden is cool. That's right. I do remember that tortoise. The thing about it is... You know how, like, you have the plank box. It would just be cool if there was an item that was like that for... 
where you could consolidate a full outfit that was cosmetic, like ham or mourner or something like that. Or like, what was those, those invisible pieces of clothing that I had to make? They're scared to ask questions about the turtle. All right, we're in. Okay, I think it's time. Uh, well, maybe I need to... No, yeah, I need to go to Let Ya first. Okay, so... Let me go give this to him first, then do the quest. Um, about the tasks I need to do. Well, as you can see, I'm not disguised. You might want to sort that out. And sort it out, I have. I've got a complete mortar outfit here all ready for you. Thanks. Is it okay if I take it off your hands now? Sure, take it, buddy. Alright. Oh, look, he got the cosmetic thing. Nice. He had a little changing room. I think I look quite the part now. I've not had the enchanted teleport crystal from you yet. Did you chant it? Uh, I knew I forgot something. No worries. I'll get down there as soon as I can. Oh, well, I should have done that first. Uh, for some reason, I thought I chanted it and then they poured it in. I messed up the sequencing. You've not mentioned a distraction. Did you find an ally who can help us on the inside? Yes. The Death Guard has a captive gnome inventor who's agreed to create a distraction. I've had his help before. A gnome? Can he be trusted? What did it take to get his help? I'll trust him because he trusted me to put in a good word with the head mourner to set him free. Well, okay, I'll trust your decision. Are you actually going to help the gnome out, though? I might get around to doing it. Man, why am I so mean to this guy? He's imprisoned. It was my last teleport charge, um, Sir Theodore, but I thought that... A Piscicat was saying I could pay someone to recharge it. A loond. Fair enough. I can't imagine he'll wait forever for the trust to be returned, though, so do it before we're finished if you're intending to. Try to get the task done as soon as possible. Time is wasting. Yeah, I will help him, because I, I don't want to leave him there. So, the roving elf. So, we just got to go find a loon. I want to find him, because I love the teleport convenience. So, let's look. Can he, Is there a chance that a, a loon shows up in here? Or is it only one of those roving spots? I can never remember. Okay. Yeah, I remember that he's roving, but, you know, you can rove into town. Rove back out. It's possible. Oh, no, no. Ah, that's not it. There's a campfire. Oh, okay. All 
I don't see it yet. There's a fire, actually. Is that it? I think they just... Yeah, she just popped in. Luck of the campfire. Let's get this done quick. Hello. How's it going? Not bad. I understand you agreed. Yes, yes, yes. Please. Um, okay. Look at that. Eight charges. But that was lucky because I came here. There was nothing. I was getting ready to go. And then I just double checked and I saw the fire and my heart rejoiced. We've done it. We found what we were looking for. All right. So now um, I need to go back to uh, West Ardoin. Ah. It'd be cool if you could gather mushrooms and then just plant your own fairy ring wherever you wanted. Yeah, I need one right here for a little bit. All right. Here we go. Let me in, chaps. It's me. The absolutely trustworthy mourner. Yep, it's just me again, old trusty. I was just thinking about starting to make trouble. Did you speak to the head mourner about my release? Not yet, but I'll get it. Oh, okay. Let me talk to him. Talk about the gnome. What do you want? Nothing major, I hope. I was just thinking about the gnome inventor we've been... Oh, wait. Maybe I should talk to him after I use him. Well, let's just see. I've been thinking about the gnome inventor we've been holding captive. Since when is it your place to think? I think what I have to say is important, sir. It's just about the gnome and having him so close to operations here. What if someone were to sneak in and see him? Sneak in? Imagine if a curious child or a thief... Managed to get down here and spotted him. He's the only evidence that our operations here aren't quite legitimate, if you see what I mean. Well, I could see that it wouldn't look good, but are you silly enough to think our security measures can be breached? It's entirely theoretical, you know, but all loose ends must be removed to ensure success, don't you agree? Plus, the gnomes have magics of their own. Hmm, that's true. We do have to be careful. What do you think we should do with the prisoner? We should release him. Release? That might be a bit drastic, don't you think? Maybe so, but we can't risk him being found in prison against his will, surely. Okay, you make a good point. I'll consider it. Okay, I'll leave you to it. All right, great. I did it. I talked to the guy. All right, so um, do I need to attune the crystal? I think I do. Attune it first, maybe, and then... Um, Do, 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 do. Oh dear. Uh 
All right. Oh my god, these corpses. Uh oh, shadow guy. I can't fight shadow right now. I gotta actually equip a weapon. All right. That place is not safe. Okay. So let's see here. This area seems suitable. I just need to find an area closer to the temple, but not so close the shadows will attack. Okay. I mean, this looks pretty good. Okay. Wait, did they mean closer or further? Like, out of the shadows reach entirely? Let's see. Alright. I see the shadow, but it's not attacking. Alright, alright. No, it's attacking. Alright, maybe I need to get away. All right, we're taking off the gas mask. This would make for a great teleport spot. I guess I'll try singing at this crystal now. Here we go. Can you hear that? My ears, it hurts. Ah, make it stop. Oh my god, he's slamming his mourner mask against the wall. That was pretty good. That seemed to work. I must have an enchanting singing voice. So it wasn't magic. It was just I'm so bad at singing that they were slamming their face into the wall. Good to know. All right, now let's see here. All right, so we need to go back to Letya. And... All is well. Let's see what happens. We're gonna... We're gonna tell them. We've done our part. Um, about those tasks I needed to do. I've not had the enchanted teleport crystal from you yet. Did you chant it? I tried my best... It seemed to get some feedback from the area. I hope it's enough. Wow, not bad for your first chant. It seems to have been bound to the area enough for me to strengthen it. There he goes, strengthening it. I doubt you heard that, did you? You've shown promise, though. Perhaps I could have a loon teach you more in the future. Wait, how did you chant it with your gas mask on? It's not easy to do. I don't want to chant upon my own horn. Oh, I love it. I don't want to chant upon my own horn, but there are a few that can match me. Show off. I thought my chanting was pretty good. So the crystal will carry us both now? Definitely. Nice job. Great news. That's all the tasks complete. I guess thanks are in order. I'd say so. Are we ready to go? Well, we've got everything we need. I'm ready to go. Are you? I like when people say, I guess thanks are in order. And then they never actually say thank you. They just say, like, I guess I'm expected to thank you now. And you're like, yep, yep. And they're like, yeah, I'm not going to. Um, yeah, let's go. I'm ready. Okay. The enchanted teleport crystal should link the two of us temporarily. You go first and quickly feed back if the coast is clear. If it is, I'll be able to use the remaining power to teleport in after you. Got it. Send me first to get eaten by dark beasts. Check. Hey, Procrastinator. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Okay, Ariangman. The coast is clear. You made it. Welcome to the Temple of Light. Follow me. I'll take you through to Thorgal. Okay, I'm with you. All right. So at this point, I can be a little bit more styling. There we go. 
Wait. Now we're talking. Let's go. Oh, he's fighting. He's like, allow me. I will allow you. Boy, if only I would would have had this guy with me last time. Really makes this easier. Oh, can he not come through here? Oh, no, he made it. I'm missing here. I remember doing this before. I'm not sure it's wise to do that until I've got Ariane Wind to Thorgal. Okay. Gotta turn the light pillar around. Hey, Silverman. Thank you, my friend. Good to see you. Uh, but he says I can't... Maybe I can... I can't turn it. This one? Rotate. Procrastinator, um, no, you didn't miss it, my friend, but um, I, I can't remember if it was you, but somebody else pointed it out, and I just made the... I had forgotten to post that video. I'm going to post it tomorrow to fill in the gap when I got the Tier 2 locker, my friend. I, was, I apologize about that. Oh, God, I, I keep doing this wrong. Okay. Right. Um, rotate the mirror. There you go. Now we can get through. That's right. You have to point it this way to open this and then point it back at that blue door to get through. Uh, within the light. We made it. And both still in one piece, too. Wow, I can't believe you got Arianwin here safely. I never thought I'd see the day. Thanks, I guess I should leave you to fill him in on the news. Much appreciated, Dr. Incompetent. He'll probably have something for you to do while we catch up, so I'll let you speak with him first. It was you? Awesome, my friend. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, I went back through all of my footage and realized there was one that I left out, and so uh, it'll go up tomorrow, to, and I'll renumber them. I appreciate that. I'm going to speak with Thorgal and let him update me on the situation down here. No problem. Do you need me to do anything? Yes, if you wouldn't mind taking a quick look at the pillar itself. The energy from it didn't seem dangerous to you, so I imagine you could touch it. Let us know your findings, if any. I'll get right on it. It's about to explode. The pillar seems to do no harm. I like my investigation to just hit it with a stick. The energy it produces reminds you of the power crystal in the Temporal of Light. Okay. A good place for light to merge, indeed. It's strange, Ariamun, very strange. What's wrong? What's strange? It's hard to describe, but all that time I spent down here getting that crystal trinket powered up I guess I got used to the energy of this place. What are you saying? 
I'm saying that the energy of that pillar really reminds me of the crystal trinket in the copy you gave me, as if they're somehow linked. If I remember rightly, I've still got that crystal trinket somewhere. It must be in my bank. Ah, Well, it looks like we need it, so you'd better go get it. Hmm. Crystal Trinket. I did forget it. Arr. All right. So. Oh, right. We can just warp to the Death Altar with the hood. Thank you. I forgot about that. Okay. So we'll keep it pointed this way. Is that right? I can teleport out of here and come back through this way with the... Because if I don't turn this around... Um, Exactly, Procrastinator. I tried to get this blue skin. I actually paid extra money to get this blue skin. It was awesome. Um, I don't want to come back and can't go in through the front and have to do everything again because I forgot to turn it around. Do you know what I mean? Maybe I should turn it around just to be safe. Well, then I'd be stuck in here. If I come back through the death altar. I guess it's right here. Okay. Alright, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave this door being shined upon. And I will go back to my bank very quickly. And then return using the hood to this death altar to use the crystal trinket. So this is a dumb question, but you see how it says I don't have the required runecrafting level to craft at this altar? If I'm using a uh, protean essence, can I still come here and craft here? Reyna, what's up, my friend? I did uh, some of these quests a long time ago, but right now I'm doing the one called Within the Light. Which I haven't done yet. So, like, I did the setup ones, but this is the the one that I'm on right now. Yes, I did Morning's End Part 1 and 2, going through this whole temple, and then now I'm at this point. Yes, the light puzzle, yes. I remember you being there for that. Yeah, that was extraordinary. Um, all right. It's strange. Very strange. Okay. Okay, be careful. Although the energy appears not to cause you harm, who knows what it's really capable of. All right. But do it great. Thank you for asking. I hope you've been well. Yeah, Procrastinator, this game has been around for over 20 years now, I believe. <laughs> now
Yeah. Wow, that was different. I'd better let Ariana know what happened. I've been blinded, is what happened. Well, things just went from strange to something else. Sorry, I was deep in conversation with Thorgo here about how to kill and dispose of your body. I mean, uh, just, you know, talking about this death altar that we're right by and how it would be funny if one of us died right here and, you know, the irony. Um, anyway, what happened? It looks like my hunch was right. The pillar's energy is similar to the trinkets as they sparked a sort of reaction with each other. It felt as if the trinket was too small to contain the energy, though. Well, it seems you may have some link to this energy. I would say the plan of action is clear. I'm not going to like this, am I? If the trinket is too small, try something bigger, like yourself. Or we could try you. You're bigger. No, no, it's clear that you have some link with the energy. I've got no links. Um, absolutely none. Plus, I'm talking with Thorgo here. It's a good conversation. Get, you know, heart to heart. Uh, besides, I need to be on hand in case something bad happens. I mean, just, just in case. Like, it's 95% they will. Um, but you're a similar size to me. 10 out of 10 for observation. Now let's get on with this. <laughs> that evasion is unbelievable. He's like, yep, and doesn't matter. Okay, while this may sound dangerous, I'm sure it's straightforward. Just repeat the process of how you made the trinket. Well, I took the trinket to the death altar where it charged. Then I placed it with the power crystal on the third floor of the temple. It's no different then. Hop onto the death altar and then get to the power crystal. Wait, wait. You want me to hop onto the death altar? This guy really does want me dead. No procrastinating there. It's a massively multiplayer online game. So there's other people in the game uh, doing their thing. But I play it largely single player, just doing my quests and such. Yeah, I think Nick Man puts it well. Exactly. There's some... Uh, stuff you can do that's multiplayer some game events but most of it's not necessary yeah that's right procrastinator um what do you mean hop onto the death altar thorgal care to help him up sure i'll meet you at the altar doctor i mean it's like they can't wait to get me on this thing i gotta say this is just me if someone asked me to, quote, hop onto a death altar, um, number one, they're no longer my friend. Number two, I'm looking for the exit immediately. And number three, I'm not getting on anything called a death altar. I actually probably wouldn't hop onto anything called an altar, period, let alone death altar. Where'd he go? Oh, I gotta go in. Yep, I gotta go further. So does this altar right here count as... Um... Nick, man, when you were telling me I get more experience if I'm doing rune crafting um, in the abyss, this does this satisfy that, or, or is it like where you have to still go out, uh, go over to um, Edgeville, and like go across the wall or whatever? And then go down, and then go into the middle where where all the altars converge or whatever. Oh, 
I remember doing it. Is it where, like, all of the altars are accessible around, in, like, in a circular formation? Maybe I'm not thinking of the right thing. Okay, um... Would you like to talk about, uh, Within the Light? I need to get up on the altar, Thorgal, the one with the skull and crossbones on it. Indeed, are you ready for me to help you up? Um, let's do it. All right, here we go. He threw me up there. I'm on it. I'm getting shot by several floating skulls. I maybe did. I jumped down. Wow, I can't imagine that charge will last forever. You'd better get to the power crystal in the Temple of Light before it wears off. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. All right, let's go then. Um, thank you, thank you. I remember doing it before. I just hadn't done it in a while. Fading, good evening. Good to see you. All right. So I gotta then. Uh, I gotta go over here. We need to get to the crystal. Hit it. Rotate it. We're passing. We're going up. We're going up. Uh, let's see. Um... Why am I, like, forgetting? I thought it was right over here. Oh, I gotta go up one more. That's right. Get out of here. Hey, Paul. Good evening. Good to see you, my friend. This is within the light. Oh, no, wait. That didn't do the right thing either, did it? Go up. Uh... Or the crystal... Oh, there it is. There it is. I was just looking at it wrong. I think it's this one, right? The crystal seems intact. Oh, get out of here. And is successfully powering the temple's safeguards. All right. Um, is this the wrong thing? I think it must have worn off. I think I wasn't fast enough. Okay, no problem. Now I know how to get there. Okay. I had the map twisted, so I was thinking it was... Um, it is on the east side. I just had it oriented differently than I thought. No worries. Easy to do. No, he just says it was a timed... Like, I only had a certain amount of time. Oh, come on. Just die. You're a joke. Get out of here. Alright. Thank you, Rayana. Yeah, I don't know why. I like to do it this way, but um, it might help me. Uh, here we go. And within the light. Let's do it. 
Hey, Robert. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. We're doing Within the Light. Here we go. We're getting thrown up onto the death altar. And, yep, here come the skulls. They bit the glowing orange balls, and now I'm ready to go. All right, and go. Oh, come on. All right, one, two, go. Oh my god, the skull came out. It bit me. I must get to the final pillar before it fades. Oh god. Okay, I'm not going fast enough. I read the... I'm going to have to probably do this a few times. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, God, it wore off. Okay. I can't stop to read anything. I gotta be faster than that. Alright, my fault. Okay. I gotta really put... Now I know exactly what I need to do and what sequence, so let's do it. <laughs> that is awesome, Robert. Thank you so much for watching, my friend. I'm so glad you're enjoying them. All right. Throw me up, our buddy. Let's do it. These elf quests are a trip. But you're right. This one, even though it's painful, it's so much smoother than the uh, Morning Zen 1 and 2 going through that temple. Oh, fine, fine, fine. I wish I could just take the damage. Like, just just hit me for whatever damage you're going to do. I'm, I'm moving the mirror. No one's going to stop me. I got it. Okay, now go. I think that worked. Go, go, go. Turn. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. There it is. Oh my goodness. What is happening now? Well, that door has got to be the way forward. I just need a way to open it. Oh, we are within the light. We went into the light. So is this where the old elves went? Uh... There are four light switches on the wall near the door. They must have something to do with it. All right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Another light beam? 
It must be involved somehow. All right. Okay, so we're going to... Oh my God, there's a dead person. You search the body and find some delicate looking notes. I can't believe I'm going to starve down here. If you found this, I hope you have better luck than me. I was carrying tools for the Death Guard when shadows attacked us. The team outside died while I got pulled into the temple and was teleported to this place. I've just about given up trying to understand the trees here. They reflect light and I could rotate them when I first came here, but I just don't have the strength anymore. I hope this helps you. The cores not only reflect, but can be charged. If light enters from behind, it passes through and mixes light together. As for the receivers, perhaps they have something to do with the color wheel? This guy got killed by the puzzle. Do you guys see that? This guy was... This is a puzzle victim. Now, it's a little alarming that a man who starved to death just has a big blood splatter by his head. Maybe he decided to uh, smash his head against the tree instead of, you know, meet his end by starvation. Pretty much, Paul. He's like, I just couldn't figure out the puzzle, and now I'm going to die. All right, so let's see. There's, okay, here's blue. There's light switches on the wall back here. All right, let me see these things. <laughs> yes, he also starved to death. That's right. It has a hole in the side. All right, so this one's white. This one's yellow, and this one... These two look white. So it's all white, but one yellow. All right. They all starve to death. Now that was a good start, but I still need to carve out a hole in this one to make it like the others. All right. Fix it. There we go. I did some crafting. All right. All right, so let's see here. Oh boy. That looks pretty good. All right. Wow. That's not what I was expecting. Um, all right. Interesting. I need these guys to shoot out light as well, I suppose. Which pillar must I direct the beam to? Oh, maybe the yellow one. Um... Oh, oh, you're right. You're right. My bad. My bad. I was not looking at this one. Blue. Okay. Correct. All right. So we need to go to blue. Let me see which one of these actually is blue. I didn't think any of them were. All right. Um, okay. 
So maybe if we change its color. Okay, let's try that. Yes, the color wheel. I forgot about that. Look. So blue goes to the opposite, yellow. Yes, thank you. Forgot about the color wheel. There it is. Hey, Mr. Krabs, good evening. There, we did it. Look at that. All right, so we burned out a hole. Oh, and now this guy is green. Well, um, we've got a red light coming out. Okay, well, can I get the light going over here? Now, that's a sender. All right, um... Do do do. All right, now I got purple. That's pretty cool looking. Purple and green. Got it. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Krabs, this is uh, within the light, my friend. Right. All right, now we need red. And the green light is on. There we go. Well, kind of. You know what? Let's just get this one out of here. Thomas, what's up, my friend? This is called Within the Light. Hey, Kreft, good evening. Good to see you. All right. Oh, no, no. Red doesn't go to red. Light blue goes over here. Derp. Jordan, what's up, my friend? Thank you. Wouldn't that be great, Robert? All right. So we need to com combine the blue and the green to get that kind of uh, teal color. So... Let's get blue coming over. Hey, Leon. What's up, my friend? And... Oh, there they go, but they don't kind of actually seem to blend like I thought that they would. Or maybe this isn't... Maybe I'm not thinking about it right. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. Bam. Alright. So now, we just need to get... Black. So I think we said before, black is just like all of the colors making white. There it goes. Bam. There we go. Got a ladder, people.
Yeah, exactly. Nick Man was right. This one was so much easier than the others, and it was fun. I mean, think about this guy's life for a moment, though. Leon, it's going great so far, my friend. Thank you for asking. Like, this dude was a slave. Then he got set upon by the shadows and kidnapped. Then he escaped and got teleported into a location only to not be able to escape that bizarre location because of a puzzle and to die from starvation. I mean, like, what kind of a cruel game did life play with this guy? Yeah, going to college killed this man. No, he didn't. Okay, then. Here's where we are now. There's uh, that guy over there. Jump the gap. All right, there's spikes appearing. I don't like what I'm seeing here. Jump, dude. I'm not even going to pretend like um, I could time that right. Maybe I could, but I guess I could stand here and then go here and then click in the right place. I got a master, like, where can I... This one's easier. All right. It's interesting, like, you remember how in um, Mauritania, like, when you're on the roofs, or maybe that's not Mauritania, that's, like, in, uh, not Burderat, but the, the town where the vampires live, and you have to travel, like, over the rooftops. You have to click on the the tile that you are standing on to jump across to the other side. But for this puzzle, you actually click on the gap to jump the gap. Mire ditch. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Rayana. You could just run and just take the damage and not even worry about it. You're like, whatever. You could stand on the side tiles. I tried. Yeah. You know what's funny is like, now that I think about it, the dude down below who died of starvation, he never would have made it through this. He would have done that puzzle, like been about to die of starvation, and then been like, all right, where did I, did I is this salvation? And then he would have got to this place and been like, oh, get real. name is that thing doing all right all 
Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. I can click on the other tile. I got you. My aim? Alright, let's find out. Well, this crossbow looks like it shoots five. So who cares? All right, as you hit the target area far below, shakes violently as if something is being revealed. All right. No, I think for for whatever reason, I just assumed that the the middle one was the only thing you could jump over. Uh, but now that it makes sense, I could jump over any of them. Yes, yes. Good point, Rayana. They did forget that. It's an introductory clause to that sentence. Um, okay. So now I just need to go back the way we came. I don't think there's a shortcut. You know, to be honest, I would do this too. Like, if I went to all the r the trouble to make this room, you'd better believe I'm making the player do it again. Like, I gotta get all the value out of this room. I spent many sleepless nights concocting this puzzle. There we go. Maria, good evening. Well, we're in another dimension that appears to be made of light inside an old elven temple. And we're, I guess, I don't know why these things are here. If this is some trial. But now the door is open. Uh-oh. Elf messenger. You search the body and find some sort of elven report. Hmm, let's see. This is the, uh, Prif Dinas report. To whom it may concern, we urgently require information. What is the status of the resistance and the threats toward Priftinas? Many believe the city lost, but the truth is that most of it was reverted to crystal seed form long ago. With the fear of impending attacks from the East and the Dark Lord, many elders sacrificed what power they had to revert the city. This report is carried by a faithful messenger who is stationed watching an ancient route of light between the temple and the undercity. We have recently noticed this link has been, been, has been made stronger as if the temple is active and safe once more. The passage is ancient. It is untraveled in many years and there is a high risk that it may collapse. It did collapse upon you. 
Ouch. No, this guy says it was going to collapse. It makes sense, though. I mean, like, the previous guy wrote his own thoughts and feelings as he died. I'm going to starve to death. This guy said, I think this might collapse. It did. Now, I like how he wrote himself in here like, this report is carried by a faithful messenger, me. Uh, but the link's presence is a good sign worthy of this risk. With all hopes, I wish this message finds your hands. With this link returned, hope has returned also. The time has come to rid ourselves of the remaining threats to our once great city, raise it from the ground once more, and restore it to its former glory, says Iestin. All right, here we go. That was quite the read. I'd better get back to Arianwin and show him the discovery. Wow. Now, this guy's head didn't explode. His just was crushed by these rocks. All right. The last words indeed. Poor guy. That armor looks pretty good, though. All right, we could dust this up. That's a nicely illuminated hallway. Got the light crystals going. All right, let's go tell them the good news. We found a couple of corpses. Oh, Orr, what's up, my friend? Yeah, I guess I could pause it. I normally don't. Um, because I never actually end up using it all, but it is that is a best practice. Uh, all right, let's go through here. Talk to our buddy. Where'd he go? I found a dead messenger in the corridor to what could be the undercity of Priftinas. It appears that the entire city was reverted to crystal form. I should take the report I found to Arianwin right away. Right. Well, he was here. Did he go back? Uh, okay. Let's go to the ruins, I guess. Did you go in here? I mean... Thorgal is in here. I don't see... Ariana. Okay. Within the light. Hey, Ariane would said to let you know he couldn't wait any longer. He's gone back to let you to make sure it remains safe. Oh, okay. How did the investigation go in the temple? Um, explain. I'd say we're one step closer to finding the Elven City. It turns out it is underground in crystal seed form. I've, uh, no wonder I've never seen it on a map. It has to be grown. All right, we got to grow the whole city. It's kind of like Superman's Fortress of Solitude. Yes, yes. Um... Or, Rayana is right. I opened the giant oyster, and inside, or the giant clam, there was a third age die, and I sold it for many billions. And then I spent a bunch of money on bonds to buy myself a year of uh, premier membership. Let's see here. Um... I thought these temples were quite the defenses, but reverting a whole city to crystal, that's something else. It is something else. Uh, do you notice these shadowy figures around here, Thorgal? Does this not upset you? I'm terrified. Don't let me keep you any longer. 
I think Arianwen will definitely want to hear of this discovery. He does. He can't wait to hear. And I'm going to now teleport back because I recharged this. I can freely do that. And, oh, no, over here. It's pretty clever, Sir Theodore. It's like Ant-Man folding up the whole building. The Pym Particles are in Pryffindas. Uh, I apologize for leaving the temple. I had to return and ensure Letya was safe while you continued the investigation. No, not a problem at all, buddy. I did everything. Um, and you won't believe what I found out. Tease no further. What have you discovered? All right, I wasn't teasing. Um, I managed to figure out how to open some more light locks, which revealed a ladder. I climbed far above the room to trigger a final switch, opening a door below. And inside the door, a dead elf beneath a rock slide. An elf? How can it be that an elf has found this place before us? because I don't think he entered from the temple side. He was clearly heading from where the corridor leads to and must have perished in the rock slide. Any clue to who he was? Oh yes, you might want to take a look at this. Oh, you're in a mood tonight, Nickman. I can't believe it. Priftinas has been reverted to crystal form. They must have reverted everything behind the city walls. You said that this might lead to the discovery of what happened to the elders and Priftinas. It looks like it has. Amazing news. Great working with you, Dr. Incompetent. I'll send word to Thorgal right away and see if he can get some of his men energized like you were. Now we know it's safe. As you've opened the doors, they can get in there and begin clearing the rubble. Yeah, it looks like we could we could clear it. It wasn't that bad. Sounds like a plan. Let me know if you need my help again. I will, thanks. We did it. So, I talked to the head mourner guy in the basement about releasing the gnome. But, um, I don't remember him ever doing anything. Was it just like when the teleport was happening, he was making the distractions so that nobody heard me teleporting Arianwen down there? And why did he need a mourner's outfit if I just teleported him directly there? beyond the mourners anyway. Maybe he needed it to get back out? I mean, he could just teleport out using his magic, right? He's confused about some of those steps. Um, all right, so we got a bunch of experience and we completed within the light. So uh, we have the ability to choose a destination for crystal teleport seeds, and we got two treasure hunter keys. I guess so. It was interesting because, like, I was assuming that there would be a humorous cutaway, like a cutscene, where the gnome was, you know, causing all sorts of ruckus. Um, but... As I put it together in my mind, when did Ariane need the mourner's outfit? Is that was that just in case we got caught? Is that what he said? Like just in case? Anyway, and why was there a distraction needed once I because the teleport made noise and they would have like heard it or something? I was trying to I attuned the crystal. I sa I chanted it. That seemed important. Anyway, um,
Okay, so... Now, we finished Within the Light. Let me see in terms of the series quest. I have to grow uh, Priftanos back, but it's like a teeny crystal. So let's see Elf. Um, Plague's End. Oh, this one has a bunch of steep requirements. Um, it's not horrible, actually. I have a good bit of it. This Dungeoneering... I don't like the look of that 75 Dungeoneering. But uh, we we can get the other ones pretty reasonably. It's, it's not close. Um, but this is something I definitely want to work toward. Because I want to finally see... I want to grow a city. All right. So that quest is completed. And if I were to rate that quest... I, here's the thing about rating um, Within the Light. For me, Within the Light, <laughs> thank you, um, Maria. Oh, definitely, Nick, man. We might need to do that when we get closer to it. Um, one thing I was going to say is, if I rate within the light, like if I give it a ranking or I give it a score, an evaluation it's within the context of the previous elven quests specifically um, you know Morning's End 1 and 2 and when you relate it to those two quests this quest is a slam dunk like you got a lot of lore you had a puzzle that was not too hard. You did have to get some stuff like a mourner's outfit and you had to get, uh, you know, do a little bit of navigation and of some puzzles, but that wasn't hard at all. Getting the distraction was not hard. Um, none of it was as grueling as before. Like, I thought for sure he was going to be like, I want those, you know, special... Uh, that special food that he likes that I have to go make again. But he didn't. He didn't even ask for that. So I rate it highly because it was such a forgiving quest on... in Like it was a nice kind of victory lap feel after Morning's End 1 and 2. Okay, so... Now, it looks like we have this quest to do, which is called um, the Temple at uh, Sentisten. So this is another Maharat quest, and it is um, a number 14 in the Maharat mini uh, Mysteries, which is many. So we need to talk to Ali the Wise and Narda again. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, Nick, man. It's actually not as bad as it once was, uh, now that I have the stuff. Maria, that's a great idea. I have, I've done a couple of individual quest reviews, but I could certainly think about trying to piece together a more quick approach to all of them, for sure. Alright, so we're going to try this one. We'll set it active. And we need to go talk to Ali the Wise. What do I need? Runes to cast telekinetic grab. All right. So I believe... Let me see how that would... No, no, no. Here it is. I need law runes. Okay. Sure. So let's go talk. Uh, well, that's easy enough to get. We'll just go ahead and teleport over here to uh, Alka Reed. I have not, Maria, I have not. Crispy, I want to play Small Land as well. I know that they're getting very close to full release if they haven't reached it already. 
So that's exciting for that game. I'll tell you what, there's so many good games to play right now. It's it's insane. It's making my head spin. It's like I'm having so much fun with Enshrouded, and then Pacific Drive is really good. And then, you know, Alex was saying, um, oh, what is this game? Not Banished. What's the title of this other game that just came out? Uh, Twilight or um, Nightingale. There you go. That looks awesome. Small World looks awesome. Zelda I'm playing right now. So I'm playing Zelda Tears of the Kingdom at the moment. Uh, and I'm having a blast with it. I've I've beaten... I think I've played and completed every Zelda game except Majora's Mask. All right. Um, so let's see here. Let's go to the bank. And let me get out. Oh, dear God. What did they just ask me for? It was only one thing um, for the Maharat miniseries. I need to go to Narda. And, oh, God, I got to look at it again. What is it that you need me to get? Runes. Oh, right, law runes. Okay. Yeah, Majora's Mask is one of those strange ones where I hear people go both ways on it. Where, like, some people are all about it, some people are not huge into it. Um, I don't know why I didn't play it, but I remember I just was like, I missed it, and then I played Wind Waker. All right. I'm just going to get myself set up for the next quest. I tell you what, I really, really enjoyed... Uh... Let me go talk to Ali. I was playing Tears of the Kingdom, and uh, I got the... Wind Sage and the Fire Sage, and I'm just kind of like exploring, getting some towers and stuff, and then I just happened to like find some horses, and there was like a gold horse, and I was like, oh, get this horse, that looks sweet, and it like, I it just happened to be like Princess Zelda's horse, and I have it, and it's like way faster than my previous horse, so I'm really pleased about it. It also looks really good. I'll tell you what, I have really fond memories of Wind Waker. Wind Waker, like, just being on your boat and sailing around um, and looking for treasure, like, just, there was such a great feeling of just exploring uh, the, the ocean. I really enjoyed that, too. It kind of, Alex, it's like uh, Salt 2 gives you that 
a bit as well. And it was such a, a nice visual upgrade from um, Ocarina of Time, you know, like the N64 was just uh, not a powerhouse. Rihanna, I did play some Tunic. I never beat Tunic, but I enjoyed it. It was like a like a love letter to classic Zelda. You you know, I remember finding like bits of the instruction manual. It was hilarious. I should go back and try that again. I think when I played Tunic, it was still early access. I don't think it had like completely I don't know how much changed though from early access to full release for that one. Yeah, for sure. I'm getting some nice Zelda vibes out of uh, Enshrouded a bit. Like, there's some puzzles, there's some climbing, you know, you've got a hang glider, and uh, there's treasure chests and things. It's pretty cool. Ali. Uh, about the Maharat. I may have more interesting information. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to actually ask him what we know so far to get some context on the Maharat. What do we know so far? The Maharat are powerful creatures with a strong aptitude for magic, including the ability to change their form and look like other creatures. So is like... Is there going to be a moment in this series where Ali the Wives just pulls off his mask and he's got a skull head and he's a Maharat? Or is that not happening? There are a number of Maharat active in the world. Uh, Jalan, who you helped to hibernate in the north, seems much weaker than I'd expect a Maharat to be. You spoke of a rejuvenation ritual... Perhaps he was not present at the last ritual. You told me of Hazil, who has a following in Ardoin. The cult are trying to revive him and are faithful to Lord Zamorak. No, I haven't gotten to that much yet, uh, Crispy. I think I have the breeding capability in Pal World, but I haven't actually done it yet. Like, I have the... The structure built that can do that I think or at least a blueprint for it that would be awesome um, Nick man I'm going to need to like really make sure that all of my questing is up to snuff for all three of those I agree with you because I want to make sure that I keep the story you know contiguous so that I don't lose sight of it uh, and I don't let things fall out. I'm, I've got my notes, too, on the Maharat that we, like, you know, A to J and J to Z or whatever. Oh, okay, Alex. Yeah, I haven't messed with it yet. I'm excited to see how that game updates as well. So speaking of this, really fast, this is like a complete tangent, um, but related to the Hazil cult trying to revive this kind of like lich type figure. If you're anybody's familiar with the uh, web comic called Perry's Bible Fellowship, there's a great one where they like resurrect this uh, basically kind of undead lord, and like they're like the the cultists are like doing this intense ritual to bring back this like undead lord and it's modern day and they go through everything and they get this undead lord back and then the next frame of the comic is like they're like um he's sitting in a recliner in his like 
you know, with a skull head and his robes and everything like that. And he's just watching TV and like yelling um, at the cultist to get him more brownies and beer. Like, it's just so sweet that like he comes back and like all he's going to do is just chill out and like watch TV and make them like <laughs> wait on him hand and foot. So, you know, Hazel might come back. And then the Hazil call are like, sweet, he's back. And he's going to be like, you know, get me some, you know, chompy skewers and, uh, l- you know, fluff my pillows for me. Anakra is a female Maharat and follower of Zamorak. She is a rival of uh, Akthanakos, who is a follower of Zeros. Okay. Now, again, don't kill me, but are these the two that we saw fighting? I always get this mixed up. Or is like... um, Because I remember there was one moment where I went down into some cave and there was two that were like embroiled in some kind of, you know, kerfuffle. So we got... The Zamorakian follower and the Zeros follower. Then there's Lucian, who's after an artifact called the Staff of Armadil. Well, I've worked with that one before. They all seem to be preparing for a forthcoming ritual where one of them will be killed. Right, Camelhead guy. You know, it's so funny. Like, you got to draw straws at this ritual to see, like, basically, it, it. the vibe I get is it rejuvenates the Maharat, but maybe they're, like, imbibing the life force of one of them. So it's just kind of like, you know, the strong survive kind of situation. So if I were uh, Jalan, like, the weak Maharat, and they were like, hey, you should come to the ritual this year. It's going to be a big one. You know, we've got all the major players coming. I would not attend. Like, I would lose that invitation. All right. So let's talk to him about the Maharat. And um, I may have more interesting information. Good, good. I'm always happy to compile more information on these creatures and... Brothers and sisters, I mean creatures, they are of great interest to me. A Maharat called um, Zamorgal tried to invade Varric with an army of zombies. Oh, right. Okay, this was the other one. Oh, can you tell me more? That's big enough news that rumors of it have already been circulating down here. Yes, uh, his army was led by the ancient hero Arav, who... Zemo had managed to enslave. A man named uh, Dementius managed to defeat the zombie army with an artifact called the Shield of Arav. Oh, and I helped quite a lot, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I did help quite a lot. Uh, Okay, I got more interesting information. Good, good. I found some interesting stone tablets in those tunnels written by a Maharat named Lamistard. Let's see them, then. I don't have them with me. I'll go and get them. Oh, um, I found some notes on many different Maharat made by Zemo. Great. I'd be interested to see them. I, I I don't actually have them, per se. I'll go get them for you. Unfortunately, I've heard that Lucian has managed to capture the staff of Armadil despite my efforts. A message I received indicates a mage called Moravio obtained it for him. I'm not sure of all the implications of this. That could be a powerful artifact. We're going to need to keep an eye out for this Lucian fellow now. Okay, so don't kill me, but... The staff of Armadil was being guarded by that contingent of Armadil, like, that we met with, and it was it was safely kept within their quarters. So, was that mage that got it, did he, like, 
was teleport expert or something and like teleported in to to take it out or i don't know how that I, i'm kind of like my memory is fuzzy on that one and then was that wasn't the mage that was like teleporting everywhere that i kept trying to follow as he kept teleporting away in a way no that was the one for the mage tower and you wasn't it um anyway i got uh do i have more interesting information now? i think i need to get the artifacts for this guy there is a bank uh in this town great to the south Don't sleep on Narda. They got they got all the creature comforts here. All right, so I need um I need these notes. And then the tablets. I don't know if these are them. I'll just take I'll take every tablet I've got. Like, what do you think here? All right. Do, 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 do. About the Maharat. I uh, got some information. Good, good. Got the tablets. Let me see them. Now, these look interesting. Hmm. Let me see. Yes, this is interesting. It seems that Jalan wasn't the only one trying to get near the ritual area by other methods. It does really seem attending the ritual is critical to their power. It looks like this guy might have come to a sticky end. Um, got some more information. Good, good. I found these notes about many different Maharat made by Zemo. Ali starts to read the notes. These really do look interesting. There's so much information here. There are more Maharat in the world than most people think. All sorts of Maharat I've never heard of mentioned. Uh, Bilrock, uh, Karshai, look. There are even details of a Maharat who have recently perished. Remarkable. It looks like there's a clear split between those who follow Zamorak and those who follow Zeros. Uh, okay, good. I got more information. I've managed to find out more about the staff of Armadil. I'm told that Zamorak used it to defeat Zeros and become a god himself. It's really that powerful? Does it mean that Lucian is trying to follow in Zamorak's footsteps and become a god? Who knows what chaos would come to pass if that were to happen? And what else do I know? I've run into General Kazard in the Shadow Realm. I think he's a Maharat. You were in the Shadow Realm? Goodness me, how did you manage to get there? I guess I picked up a lot of useful bits and pieces on my adventures. Did you find out anything of interest from him? Yes, he was sending this message to his followers. The planets are nearing alignment. We will meet in the place of half-light and ice soon. Beware of the others, for though they are weak and few, they are cunning." mean anything to you? Hmm, I'm not sure exactly. I guess the place of half-light and ice could be the ritual area. The bit about the planets aligning is interesting. Do I have more interesting information? Um, I inadvertently freed a being called Azanadra from a pyramid to the west of here. That name was on the list of Maharat and Zemo's notes. Have you let another Maharat loose into the world? Yeah, I, I think I might have. So what was he like? Was he another conniving and evil follower of Zamorak? Well, now you come to mention it, he wasn't a follower of Zamorak, and he was actually rather helpful. He taught me a bunch of new spells. I'm still not convinced he's entirely trustworthy, but he didn't seem all that bad either. It's all very interesting. You know, it does increasingly seem that not all these Maharat are completely evil, not to the extent some people would have you believe anyway. There does seem to be a mix of 
personality types like with many other races okay um more information do i have anything else uh no okay good so i've given him all the information oh he wandered off where'd you go he's like i don't want to talk to you anymore all right um how goes your research well there all of our research seems to point to the fact that there are two factions of these maharat there are those who are loyal to an ancient and mostly forgotten god called Zaros, and those who are loyal to Zamorak. What's your perception? Do we treat these two factions differently? Where do you stand on these matters? Oh, wow. Okay, he wants my take on it. All right, here we go. Let's look at this. Well, I certainly don't like those of the Zamorakian faction, despite what I'm wearing. Uh, the actions of the Zamorakian faction don't really worry me. Religion isn't something I much care about. I just fight. Zero sounds like a worthy deity to me. I'm a true follower of Zamorak. Okay. Um, well. Uh, let's see. Where am I in this? For me personally, I'm not really into within the world, this, the world of this game. I could say, like, I'm not really into religion, which would be, you know, the organized worship of deities. But at the same time, like, I'm in this world where I talk to gods and goddesses. So I have kind of like a different perspective. So I'm just going to say I don't like the Zamorakian faction. They do seem to follow a self-proclaimed god of chaos. Zamorakian Maharat, such as Lucian and Zemo clearly pose a significant threat to human civilization, but what of the Maharat who follows Zeros? Um, I get the impression that Zeros is unpleasant, too. Yes, but it's often said that it is the victors who write history. If Zeros has been defeated in the past, then his vanquishers will not have promoted his virtues. Oh, This guy is letting slip his bias. Like, hey, hey, we can't just throw out Zero so, you know, casually like that. I mean, like, he got a bad rap from others. Perhaps all that is left for us is to see what the Zamorakians want us to see. It's hard to know if untoward things that one might hear about Zeros are deserved or not. It's one thing's for sure, it's that the followers of Zamorak are the ones causing grave problems in the world today. Okay. So, we accept the quest. Oh, actually, when I think about it, there is something that may be of interest to you. I've just been up to the Varric dig site. I ran into an old contact of mine, Dr. Nabanik. When I mentioned that I was working with someone called Dr. Incompetent, he seemed to have heard of you. He asked if you could head over to the Varric Dig Site Exam Center, and he has some work for you. Dr. Nabanik? The name doesn't ring any bells. I have to say, I suppose I could head over and see what he wants. Um, can he get me there? Can you help me get there? I do have one item that may be of use to you. It'll take you to the exam center here he gives you his pendant thanks um all right i guess it's got five charges so fair enough oh wow very useful all right look at that i got a achievement just for getting here sweet okay so here we are in Varric, or nearby, at the dig site, and we are working on the quest called the Temple at Sentisten. Um, yeah, it's nice. I got a free one. Now, the, what's tricking me is the. Uh, mummy pharaoh lady that's buried under the temple in the desert, her name is Senleton, right?
not like it there's just some similarities to the the names but maybe it's just you know quinky dink anyway this is what we're going to be working on no relation okay i didn't think so i was just like you know i'm in the desert i got sent to sten like i you know i was i was thinking about it okay um so this is where we will pick up next week as we complete this quest or at least work toward doing so and we had a great little um elven quest today that we finished neatly everyone i want to say thank you so much for coming out to the stream tonight and playing some runescape i hope you all have an excellent evening or day we're going to be playing some the sunless sea tomorrow evening if you're interested in oh you know a little bit of lovecraftian horror in fallen london boat sailing extraction mischief hey dave thank you for following my friend nick man alex reina crispy bacon Maria, Episcacat, Sir Theodore, Robert, Orr, Paul, Leon, Jordan, You too, Maria. Everyone out there, take care. Have a great one.